All right, so we recently talked about how to spice up your desk setup. And one of the things that we talked about was using a desk mat. So in this video, we got five different desk mats that are, that are all under $20 that you can check out and purchase for yourself to spice up your life because variety is the spice of life, right? And I've said that so many times, but it's true. So let's jump into talking about these desk mats. We got a lot to talk about. Alright, so we've got five different ones and they're all very different in names, in branding, in sizing, in design. I will link them all down below and you'll see pictures if you click on that kit.co link. The names are pretty long so I'm just going to make up names for them as we go through them. But I can go over their sizing and compare that as well but they are all pretty much on Amazon and all under $20. All right, so first let's talk about the ones that we're primarily using right now. As you can see, I am using this really big marbled desk mat and the design is lovely. They have a lot of different other designs. Benefits here is that most of them do have the double stitching on the, all the edges and the back is a non-slip rubbery material. These are cloth, so if you do spill some water or food on it, it's likely to stain. I've been abstaining from drinking anything other than the water. Actually, I don't drink anything other than water and coffee and tea, but don't drink coffee or tea around this because it will stain, especially if you buy this marble color. But it's very pretty and function-wise, it works well. It dampens the sound on keyboards and reduces ting, but it also works as a mouse pad too. So this one's the one that I've been using. And then that one I will call colored marble. This one is a world map in black and silver. If you look at it with light, it looks like there's a shine to it and there really is. It's almost sparkly, but the world map, very cool, same size as the colored marble. It got a nice look to it. Works well with black keyboards. Same double stitched edges. Back has a rubbery feel. And then some of the complaints we have on this is that there's some typos. So if we're looking at Australia over here, it doesn't say Melbourne. It says Mel Melbourne, spelled M-E-L-B-O-U-R-E-N. And then we also have another typo, Rio de Janeiro. So instead of type being spelled Rio de Janeiro, it is spelled Rio de Ianero. So that's strange too. And then we have a whole, all the other cloth ones. So the, the cloth ones all pretty much have the same features to them. Got nice stitching and then the non-slip back. This one is a little bit smaller. It has a pretty nice design. I really like this one a lot if you're looking for a lot of RGB and different colors. If you're doing the rainbow breathe one, this one's really nice. This one's smaller as well and in terms of thickness, this one feels the thickest and most durable of all. And then the last one, this one is really good. This one's red. This one's good if you are eating and are doing some messy things and could get your desk dirty. So this one comes with like a little clip to hold it together. The other ones we just use rubber bands. But this one is reversible. It's black on one side, red on the other. One problem I have with this is that it doesn't really stay on your desk very well because it's like a plastic feel to it. And it doesn't have the ed stitch edges because it's, it's just a piece of plastic, basically. So it doesn't stay on your desk and it'll roll up if you're using one side over the other. But if you're looking to do some kind of painting art um, let's see, lubing up your stabilizers or switches. This is great to use because you can just do a quick wipe or wash afterwards. 
but in terms of style and look and feel this one doesn't really do that well the mouse mice doesn't feel good gliding on it it just doesn't feel like a mouse pad at all hello there if you like this video right now press that like button but if you're new here i'm betty this is Switch and Click, and here we dive deep into mechanical keyboards and provide straightforward and honest reviews of different tech and things that are non-technical, like desk mats also, uh, but primarily we do review mechanical keyboards, so if you like that, press that subscribe button and let's jump right back into the review. And then of course, I have been using this tiny, tiny thing, the Steel Series mouse pad it's it's a large i believe and all those desk mats feel way better than this this is pretty thin material and it accumulates dust really easily so you can see there's like dust on top but none of those desk mats do so if you're looking for a desk mat these are some good options i'm just showing you some designs that are out there not necessarily gonna review each one individually because I don't think that's necessary they all pretty much have the same features except for what I mentioned and they'll all be linked down below if you want to check those out we are using colored marble and world map at this time but while making this video I think I'm gonna switch to this one rainbow prism this one's pretty cool I'll switch to that one instead of using marble and I am going to change my keycap sets my keycaps out so if you're interested in a keycap installation guide or where we talk about different keycaps I'll link those on the cards to the side if you're using a desk mat what are you using and what design I would love to see it um, send me a picture via Twitter or Instagram down below with all the social media links but if not you can just describe it in words and for all of our mechanical keyboard reviews press here and another video by us that you might like press here and subscribe here if you want to and we'll see you in the next one